everyone and welcome to the first test of my new Speedy Sound series in Logic Pro X where I try to share with you a really simple sound design technique in under five minutes which can help take your productions to a more abstract level or just help your general workflow. Uh, the one I'm going to be tapping today is a really simple effect you can apply to a vocal which can create a lot of build up and tension, really good for electronic music production if you want to make a more abstract sounding drop. Uh, I hope you learn a lot from this tutorial and yeah, on with it. So once you have Logic open, the first thing you want to do is just come over to your Apple Loops here, this little thing here in the top right, and just search here for Carla. And we're just going to use one of Carla's improvs here that Logic has provided us with. Um, but you can use this on any kind of vocal, really. I think it's a really interesting effect to add a bit of tension in an abstract way. So we're going to scroll down to Carla Melody 23 and use that for this session. Get up, 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 get up. So if you just click on that and drag it in, just drag it here. And we'll just delete this instrument here because we don't. And we're just going to loop this for eight bars. So hover your mouse over the top right of the region and just drag that until you get to the ninth bar. And a little shortcut here is to hit Command and then U. And that's going to create a looping zone for the region that you've selected. Uh, it's a really handy shortcut. And now we're going to add a chorus effect to this channel, which is where we're going to get most of the effect from. So if you just come over to this left side, uh, I'm just going to hit Y on the keyboard to get rid of the far left menu, which we don't need anymore. On here, we're going to go to our audio effects for this Carla melody. We're going to go to modulation and add a chorus effect. And we want to set the mix to 100 and the intensity to zero. And the rate, you can set that to wherever you want, um, but for this tutorial we're gonna set it to 16. We'll play around with different rates in a bit, but for now we'll set it to 16. If you click on your channel strip and hit A, it's gonna bring up the automation section. So if you just click on where it says volume, we're gonna navigate the menu to chorus and intensity. This is the parameter that we're gonna modulate. So click intensity. I'm just gonna hit Z so it zooms in. Add a node on the first bar, right click, hit snap automation. This way the nodes snap to the grid. And we're gonna click on bar seven and add a node there. We're gonna drag that all the way up to 100%. And this is what we're gonna hear. Get up, 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 get up. Get up, 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 get up. Get up, 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 get up. Cool. And obviously, you can play around with the rate if you want. So I'll give you an example of what different rates sound like. So this is a lower rate. Get up, 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 get up. Get up, 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 get up. Get up, 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 get up. And you can see you can get some really weird sounds, but for this one. Yeah, we're just going to leave it 16. Now, we're going to add a bit more space to this. So if you come over to your sends, we're going to send it to a reverb. So Logic already has one set up for you, so that's great. So we're going to send this to bus 2, which is quite a large space. And we're going to automate the send, making sure you still have, you're still in your automation settings. Go back to that drop down menu and go to main. And we're going to go to send one large reverb and absolute. And we're going to follow a similar path to the chorus automation. So add a node to the first bar and then again on bar seven. And we're going to bring this to zero dB. So don't bring it all the way to the top, just bring it to zero or around zero and just hit. Get up, 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 get up. Right, I'm going to wrap it up there. That's like I said, it's just a quick tutorial for a really interesting sound design technique that you can use in your tracks if you want to build tension um, in a more abstract way. Like I said, this effect works best on vocals, but I'm sure you can experiment and maybe find another use for it. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you did learn something, please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps me grow the channel. All right, cheers, guys.